so in this problem we have to find out the natural frequency uh, of this system where this is a stepped cylinder or a stepped disc so this is the step and this is the axis of rotation passes through this point so uh, a mass is suspended from here at radius r1 and at radius r2 uh, the the uh, disc is supported by a spring so here uh, the coordinates are to be measured from the static equilibrium position so so this theta is also being measured from the static equilibrium position and x is also measured from the static equilibrium position so if you do that you need not consider the static deflection of the spring and neither you neither do you need to consider the potential energy change due to this weight if you use energy method or uh, you do not need to consider the weight if you use uh, force method so <coughs> here now if you calculate the kinetic energy so t if you calculate the kinetic energy so one is half m x dot square and what is x dot x dot is r1 theta dot so half m r1 theta dot square plus the rotational kinetic energy of this step disk and it is given that j is the uh, mass moment of inertia of this step disk about the axis passing through through this point so this is half j theta dot square and what is the potential energy so as i told you you need not consider the potential energy from the undeformed position of the spring only you have to consider from the static equilibrium position so from the static equilibrium position the spring deformation is r2 theta so this is r2 theta square now you write t plus u is equal to constant and then you take derivative so half m r1 square theta dot square plus half j theta dot square plus half k r2 square theta square equal to constant then you take derivative of this so half m r1 square half m r 1 square then 2 you are differentiating with respect to time so 2 theta 1 then d d t of 2 theta dot then d d t of theta dot so theta double dot plus half j 2 theta dot then d d t of theta dot which is theta double dot and here it is half k r2 square 2 theta theta dot so and right sides will be 0 unless this goes this goes and this goes and theta dot is not always not 0 so theta dot can be cancelled so this is m r1 square theta double dot plus j theta double dot plus k r2 square theta is equal to 0 or j plus m r1 square theta double dot plus k 
के आर टू स्क्वायर थीटा इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ दैट मींस थीटा डबल डॉट प्लस के आर टू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय जे प्लस एम आर वन स्क्वायर थीटा इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस इज ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर सो दिस इज एक्चुअली ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर सो इन दिस वे यू कैन फाइंड आउट द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दिस सिस्टम just let us create a little space so here okay so now it looks okay so here the main thing which you need to understand is see you have to measure the uh, 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 displacement from the static equilibrium position and then you need not then you don't have to consider the weight the potential energy change due to weight and the uh uh and the uh, deformation of the spring from the undeformed its undeformed length to the static equilibrium position so here this is another interesting problem so here suppose there is a cylinder like this initially it was here so this is th this was the cylinder and this cylinder moves up up the concave surface rolls up the concave surface so it comes here <coughs> so that means some point here comes here so this point goes here so this point goes here and it is rolling without slipping so this length so from here to end here this length is same as this length so there is no slipping so this is a rolling without slipping that means this the point which was initially here goes somewhere here now you have to understand how much and that is the most important thing to understand that suppose you take this line this line initially so if you just give this line a translation so it would have come here and this is the parallelogram so like this and the whole whole cylinder would have shifted like this so this line goes in a parallel just remains parallel to its initial position and that and the whole disk all lines in the disk remains parallel to its initial position and that is translation so if you give a translation this line comes here but where has this line gone this line has go gone here so how much is the rotation not full phi but phi minus theta so this is the most important thing to understand in this problem that rotation is equal to phi minus theta and once you understand this then you can write the expression for kinetic energy which is half if you take the mass of the cylinder as m m into now what is how much is the translation this much so this much means r minus r capital r minus small r into theta so the velocity is half um, r minus r into theta dot is the velocity and this square so this is the translational kinetic energy so if you want this as the final position of the spring if you want this as the final position of the spring you first give this translation then you give phi minus theta rotation then you can get the final position so and the second term is a rotational translation energy is half into what is 
the mass moment of inertia about this point that is half m smaller square then then it is phi dot minus theta dot square so this is the expression for the uh, kinetic energy the first part is the first part is the rotation uh, translational kinetic energy and the second part is the rotational kinetic energy half moment of inertia into omega square if this is the rotation then omega is phi dot minus theta dot so now if you simplify so half m r minus r square theta dot square plus half into again half m r square now what is the relation between phi and theta so the relation between phi and theta is uh, say r so this length this point has gone here so this length which is small r into phi has to be this length this is capital r into theta so you have to remember that uh, you have to remember that small r into phi is equal to capital r into theta for rolling without slipping so this distance this distance from here to here this distance is equal to this distance so if you replace phi by r by r theta so this is r by r theta dot minus theta dot square so this is equal to half m r minus r square theta dot square plus one half into half so you if r you take r inside then this then this is r minus r and if you take theta dot outside r minus r square and that means half so this is 1 plus half that is 3 by 2 half into 3 by 2 m r minus smaller theta dot square I think it's ok now what is the potential energy the potential energy u is from here to here so how much the center has gone up so that is r minus r so it has gone up by r minus r so initially it was initially it was the center of mass was here so r minus r and now it is here so r minus and the vertical distance from here from this level is r minus r cos theta so this is r minus r into 1 minus cos theta so now you do t minus u equal to constant so half into 3 by 2 m r minus r theta dot square plus so here m so m g r minus r 1 minus cos theta equal to constant now you differentiate so this is 3 by 2 m r minus r theta double dot so 2 and 
टू गोस प्लस एम जी आर माइनस आर सो देन डी डी टी ऑफ दिस इज वन कॉस्थीटा सो साइन थीटा थीटा डॉट इक्वल टू जीरो और थीटा डबल डॉट प्लस सो एम एम गोस सो जी आर माइनस आर सो आई थिंक देर बी अ स्क्वायर हियर सो आई हैव मिस्ड आउट द स्क्वायर स्क्वायर सो जी आर माइनस आर बाय आर माइनस आर स्क्वायर एंड हियर थ्री बाई टू साइन थीटा इफ थीटा इज स्मॉल then we can write it as like this so now we have so it goes and this goes so uh so here from here this is actually uh, the omega n square so this is gives you the omega n Where? So in this way, you can get the natural frequency of this. So let us stop here.